I got to help cut the ribbon with Emerald at the bistro and the Godmother Staircase with Cassidy and Kathy Lee. So Lee, just a little over a year ago, you and I sat down on the Carnival Panorama, mm -hmm. and one of the things that I asked you was, where do you see yourself in five years with the company? What are your goals? Yep. And the first thing you said to me is that you wanted to be involved in the launching of a new ship. Yeah. Well, my friend, here we are, the brand new Carnival Celebration, and she's yours. How do you feel about that? Blown away, if I'm honest with you. It's, it's out of this world, and it's all happened so fast. I mean, we were sat there, Panorama was the biggest new ship yeah. I'd ever worked on. And now I got to deliver a ship from the shipyard. It's, it's a little kind of like pinch me moment, if I'm honest with you. Uh, but I'm so grateful, so grateful to have played a part in the delivery of this ship that I'll be able to look back at for years to come and say, that one was mine. And if that's not enough, Porthole Cruise and Travel Magazine, every year they have Reader's Choice Awards yep. for things like best cruise ship, best cruise line, best port, and oh yeah, best cruise director. And I wasn't surprised to find out it's you. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I really was. Um, in fact, I only found out that I, I won. I didn't even know I was nominated yeah. because I got an email from a member of our office team in Miami that said, hey, if you need assistance drafting a statement, let me know. And I was like, oh, what do I need a statement for? And they said, you've won an award. Um, but the thing is that that award came from the cruises yeah. from our guests, and, and that's what really speaks volumes to me, so I'm, I'm eternally grateful. Yeah. Well, I, I think I, it's safe to say that there are 6,000 passengers on this ship right now that agree with that. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much. I know one person that definitely does. <laughs> My mom. <laughs> So as the cruise director involved in the launch of the Carnival Celebration, you actually got to spend some time at the Meyer Turku shipyard in Finland yes. as they put the finishing touches on. What can you tell us about that experience? It was incredible, honestly, to see the ship come to life. When I arrived in Finland, this whole area here was a construction site. There was scaffolding, we were bringing items through the door just there, huge pallets. 20, 30 pallets of items. And then overnight we'd be surprised by the evolution of the ship and how it was growing and slowly turning into what we see today. Um, it's an experience I'll never forget. And I understand now why people feel so connected to vessels, especially when they've been involved in the delivery. Because it was it was magical to see this this ship go from what was a dusty shell with wires dangling everywhere to now a beautiful XL class ship that is polished, finished, and welcoming guests. hardest things for a crew member on a cruise ship has got to be being away from family and friends yeah. for long periods of time. So tell me, how was it to be able to sail with your mom for the first couple weeks on this ship to celebrate this amazing achievement? Honestly, that was incredible. I mean, my mom booked herself onto that cruise mark. Normally, I book my mom on as a gift for her birthday or Christmas. She was so determined to sail with me that she booked herself onto the voyage. And to be able to stand there when we activate the fun and say, my mom's out in the audience. It was wonderful. I mean, I don't think there's gonna be many times in my career where I can be involved in the launch of a new yeah. ship. So my mom saw it as a sort of a once in a lifetime opportunity and to sail from Southampton. Yeah. Um, my mom turned into like a mini celebrity around the <laughs> ship as well. I think people were more excited about seeing my mom than seeing me. That's awesome. And it just filled my heart with joy. We, uh, family is so important to all of us. And to share it with my mom and my girlfriend is out of this yeah. world. And that's what I was going to say. Your mom had to go back home, right? Yeah. So now we're here, we're here on the inaugural U.S. sailing. But you still have somebody pretty special with you on the ship. I do, I do. Geraldine's in the center stage cast. Uh, they're currently rehearsing. And um, the fact that we get to be together. We met on the Carnival Splendor back in 2019. Yeah. My wife and I got uh, engaged on the Carnival Splendor. It's a special ship. There you go. It's a really special ship. I heard some rumors about John Heald and his beautiful daughter in the Carnival yeah. Splendor as well. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a magical ship for a lot of us. 
but to get to share a contract as crew members who work in separate orbits usually, yeah, this means a lot. It really does, and, and it's going to be yet another reason why this ship is cemented in my heart forever. So the Carnival Celebration is the newest, biggest ship in the fleet. It is. And you've had quite a bit of time to explore her now. What is your favorite spot on this ship? Oh, I've got to tell you, Mark, I love the gateway. And the Gateway, while we are very reminiscent of the Mardi Gras, the Gateway is so special and new. The fact that Emeralds has swapped sides mm -hmm. and Latitude's bar, which would be the Fortune Teller bar on Mardi Gras, has swapped sides. I think it transforms the space. Yeah. And those beautiful LED windows with the presentations that are shown there and the time journey. I just think it's really, it's really unique and it's, it's home. I, I look at that, I go, this is mine. <laughs> yeah. Some people have asked me, you know, my thoughts on the ship, and, and I do like that that area has transformed. Yes. So the ship is very similar to, to Mardi Gras, yep. but in ways different, and I like that. So yeah. I, I, I like that that's your favorite spot as well. Yeah, also the comedy club, the tiny change in the punchline of comedy club that you might not have noticed, but it's widened just a little bit. The seating has opened up and I think it transforms the room. All of a sudden it feels like a grand comedy club. And it's the tiniest degree yeah. wider, but it just makes a huge difference. year here on Celebration, you're going to be rotating cruise director duties with Chris Williams, better known as the Flying Scotsman, and he is full of energy. I know that you got to work alongside him on Mardi Gras as you learned the layout of these XL class ships. What was it like watching that man work? Honestly, I'd worked with Chris previously as well on The Dream, and I am constantly intimidated by how incredible that man is. He's a, he's a showman, he's got a great personality, and he just he's just got it. So whenever I've been taken over from him, I've always stood there in awe, just being like, ooh. <laughs> and he's so nice, and he's just like, don't worry, you can do this. But do you know when you feel like someone's just like, you've got it, you've got it, and I'm looking at him being like, hi, don't, I don't think I got it. So it's gonna be nice to have the, the roles reverse when he comes in, but I know it's gonna be anything but intimidation from the other side. I won't have to pat him on the back and say, don't worry, you got it. Yeah, he, he's a seasoned vet. Yes, absolutely brilliant. And that show that he does blows my mind every time. If I could cruise with one of our cruise directors, Chris would definitely be on my to cruise list. I know your time is limited. There are a lot of passengers on here and they all want to say hello to you. But I would be remiss if I didn't ask you some hot seat questions. Are you down with that? Absolutely not. No, I'm joking, of course, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> So welcome to the fire. I'm the one with the Lee, would you rather get a shoulder massage or a back massage? Oh, I'd go for a back. Specifically, the center of my back. If you got stuck in an elevator and were forced to listen to only one song, what would it be? Oh my word, the Barney theme tune. <laughs> Can you sing a little bit for no, us? Oh my God. <laughs> what is your most treasured possession? Ooh. My most treasured possession. I know I shouldn't think about these too much, but that's a deep one. My camera. There you go. My camera. I, I concur. Yeah. Would you rather spend a year living in a nudist colony or an Amish colony? A nudist colony, but it would be disappointing for <laughs> anyone else. So are, are you volunteering for the nude cruise? I know Carnival oh, does those, right? You know what? There is some sort of um, human fascination that I wouldn't be against it. Yeah. You just, you just made a lot of viewers at home very happy with it. If you had a personal mascot, what would it be? Oh, I don't know. I am probably a little squirrel <laughs> with a big smile. What Guinness World Record do you think you could beat? Probably talking incessantly, nonstop. Would you ever pick up a hitchhiker? Yes. Are you wanting to come? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm hitching a ride on this ship for the rest of the year. We'll pick you up, let's do it. Lee, what's your guilty pleasure? My guilty pleasure? Food-wise? Yeah. Anything with cheese? Absolutely anything with cheese. Um, and 
snoozing. My guilty pleasure is sleeping up until the very last moment. Do you have time to take uh, some little cat naps in the middle of the day? Yeah, I'm a danger snoozer as well. If I've yeah. got 15 minutes, I'm still gonna lay down and yeah. take it. Would you rather pull a tooth with a pair of pliers or brand yourself with a cattle prod? Oh gosh, I paid a lot of money for these, <laughs> but the cattle prod doesn't sound nice either. Um, probably one of the back ones. Lee, we know we checked off a big one here. Yep. What's left on your bucket list? Oh my word, okay, so I've got a cruise with John. I have to share a cruise with John Heald. Um, sailing from New York. I'd love to see New Zealand. And then, who knows, Mike Pack, watch out. Now, Mike Pack uh, was on the transatlantic, yes. right? And was his wife Emma with him? Emma came on in Southampton for okay. the day. And partway through the cruise, people were asking, where's Emma, where's Emma? And Mike called me and said, Lee, can you tell everybody I don't have a locked in the cabin? Yeah. Um, she's actually at home. Yeah. Did you give her her mug back? No. <laughs> Not only are you active on the ship, Lee, but you're one of the most engaging and active cruise directors that I've ever seen on social media. Where can your fans and our viewers oh keep track of, of all that's going on with you. Well, on Lee, your cruise director on Facebook, Lee, your cruise director on Instagram, um, and Elon Musk wouldn't let me have Lee, your cruise director on Twitter, so I have to be Lee, your CD. But he's also Lee, your cruise director, right here on the celebration. If you're sailing on the celebration, please leave us a comment with your dates down below. Make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell activated so you get notified when we post videos like this. Share this video with your friends because they're gonna love Lee too. And as always, remember, life is short and cruising is fun. Did I get it right? Yeah, I didn't even need to prompt you. Beautiful. Oh.